I've sourced to using online tools to drive offline foot traffic and sales. I'm Crystal Vilkaitis and I have a Social Edge member submitted question. If you are not a Social Edge member, why the heck not? Be sure to check it out at this URL, crystalmedia.co slash social edge and learn all about our retailer only membership group. Today's question is from Sandy and she writes, Hi Crystal, can you explain Google Analytics? What is it? How do we, independent retailers, best use it? And why is it important? I hear about it and know it helps one track responses, but can't say I understand it. Thanks, Sandy. Thank you so much for your question, Sandy, and this is a great one. So if you have a website, I strongly recommend that you have analytics on your site. What it is, is it's a, f a free tool for websites that have anywhere from 10 million hits a month or less. So if you are an indie small business, I would probably assume that it will be a free service for you. And it's offered by Google and it tracks detailed information about the traffic that you're getting to your website, about how much you're getting, where it's coming from, the demographics of your traffic, as well as it measures conversions and sales. So you can see the importance of having this on any kind of website because you want to see if people are even coming to your site, where are they coming from, what search terms were they using, how did they find you, what pages did they click on, and what pages did they click off on. So there's a few things that it tracks. It measures demographics of the users that come to your site. So let's say that for the month of June, you had a thousand hits to your website. It's going to show you that you had a thousand visits and it's going to tell you how many were unique and how many were returning visitors. You could see demographics like the language that they speak and the location that they're visiting from. So if you do not sell online and you're a physical brick and mortar store, then chances are wherever you're located, majority of your web traffic is going to be in that same state too. Google Analytics also will tell you what kind of device people are viewing your website from. So if they are using a computer or if it's a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. If you're seeing that people are visiting your site on a mobile device, you better make sure it's mobile friendly. I have a site that I recommend within Social Edge where you can make sure it converts your site for you so it is mobile friendly, so buttons aren't too small, they're easy to click on, and everything's formatted within the, the one screen that I can just see it from here versus scrolling left or right. Analytics also shows you something pretty cool, which is what they call the visitor's flow. So they'll show you what page that people, where, where they came from, and what page they landed on first, and then what page they went to second, and third, and fourth, and etc. So I love looking at that information because I can really understand what their patterns is and see if I'm seeing something very common across the board where somebody might be coming in on the same post and then clicking over to the next page and it might be similar, might be different, or are they following the path that I want them to go through? If I have, if I sell online or whatever my call to action is, if I want you to buy, if I want you to call, if I want you to print this and bring it in, a gift certificate that they can bring in, I want to try to see them go through that flow and wherever my call to action is, whether it is that buy or print this, I should hopefully, my goal as a marketer is to see traffic on that page and hopefully not see people leaving from that page because that means that I lost the sale. Analytics also shows you something pretty cool which is called in-page analytics. What it's going to do, you click on that tab on the left hand side, it's going to take a couple seconds and it's going to pull up your home page so you actually see your website on there. And anywhere that somebody could click, so like within your navigation if you have shop, about, contacts, new product arrivals, if up top you have a banner ad that people could click on, if you have social media icons like Facebook, Twitter that links over to your Facebook page, your Twitter profile, anywhere that somebody can click, it's going to show you the percentage of people who have been on your website where they clicked. Pretty cool, right? I love looking at this because what I can see is on my navigation, I can see that where majority of people click. For me, I hope that they click on work with me the most because that's where I'm going to get paid. Those are my sales from my site. For you, you might want to see people clicking on shop or new product arrivals or sales or events. 
depending on what's your most important piece of your site that gets you that money or gets you that lead, you want to see that most of the people are clicking on there. If you see that nobody is, then you might, I would suggest changing what the, what the name of the tab is or what the name of the link or maybe even the positioning. If you have things that are below the fold where people have to scroll down and you're seeing zero clicks from that, but you really want some clicks from it because again, you're going to get some sales or leads from it, then move it up to the top and see if you have any kind of different percentages there. The main thing that I use analytics for is for tracking my referral traffic. Okay, so Google Analytics, when you click on source, traffic source, it's going to show a pie chart. Your goal as a marketer should always be to have an even pie chart, 33% of every piece. That's going to be the direct marketing or the direct traffic. So direct is going to come from somebody just typing your URL into their browser, hitting enter and going right to your website. The next piece, so that's one direct, then you have referral. Referral is going to be anything like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, if you're listed on a local directory online, if you use any other social media outlet, YouTube, if you're listed on a blog, um, anything like that where your site is linked on somebody else's site, you're going to see that in the referral traffic and that should be 33%. And then you've the last piece of that pie is search. And this is where people are, what are they putting into Google and, and Bing to find your website. Now I love this feature on Google Analytics and as a marketer and as an online marketer, this is where I really live for my business as well as past clients. And I would really suggest for you to really pay attention to your referral traffic. Because if you're spending the time managing a Facebook page, pinning on Pinterest, tweeting, if you're doing email marketing campaigns, if you're doing any online paid advertising like banner ads on other people's websites, you want to make sure it's driving you traffic, right? You're spending time, you're spending money, and you want to make sure it's working. Because if it's not working, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily something you completely stop doing. It could be something you stop doing, but you might be able to see, okay, why are we not getting traffic to our Facebook page? If I was logged into your account and I went in there and I said, okay, referral traffic, I don't see Facebook in the top 10. However, you're using Facebook almost every single day for your store. Let me look at your Facebook page and see why. And what I would do is I would scroll through there and most likely I wouldn't see any links going back to your page. I find that a lot of retailers don't actually promote their products and link them back over to the website. Now, of course, if you don't sell online, that's not something you can exactly do because those products and those images might not be on your website. You might just have more of an informational website. So that could be one of the reasons why. But the key here is to really see where your traffic's coming from. And then um, you might see some new ones too, like you might have got featured on a blog and you had no idea that you did. Or there, people might be searching and you're coming up for it for these different search results. So make sure under the organic keywords you can see what people are putting into Google to find you. Is it the keyword terms that you want to be found for? Like, Is it your store name? Is it for products that you carry? Pro category types that you carry? Um, is it for your city? Is it for the shopping center that you're in? Those are all the kinds of things that you will want to be found for and you should check out those keywords to see if people are actually searching and finding you because if they're not, they're finding somebody else. So make sure that you have that even pie chart. One thing that I do is every single month on the second or the third of the month, I go into Google Analytics and I go through different pieces. I look at my referral traffic, I look at my pie chart, and I look at my um, in-page analytics to see where people are clicking. I then take that referral traffic information as well as how many visits I've had, and I put that into an Excel spreadsheet. For my Social Edge members, you have a tracking report spreadsheet within membership. Download that. I have already have the formulas in there for you as well as the Google information that you can just plug right in based off of your results. And then hopefully I say I have the formulas in there because it's going to calculate how much growth you've had month over month or if there's any kind of decrease in your traffic, you're going to see that on the spreadsheet too. So be sure to download that. If you're not a Social Edge member, I strongly suggest you join us or you could create your own spreadsheet and keep track of that data as well. 
So to summarize for you, Sandy, and anybody else that's wondering what the heck Google Analytics is, make sure you have the tracking code on your website so you can then log in and see what your weekly, monthly, or yearly traffic looks like. Make sure that you're logging in at least once a month to see if you're having any increases in traffic from both returning visitors as well as unique visitors. See where that traffic is coming from. If you're spending money on online ads, you should be seeing that traffic come back. If you're use, spending your time on Facebook or Pinterest, you should be seeing that in the top 10, top 5 referring traffics. Uh, referring sites for your site. If you're running any kind of email marketing campaign, you should see that that's driving traffic to your site from email. Now, if you're not seeing any traffic come from these sources that you're using, then go back to those campaigns, look at your Facebook page, and see, are we linking? Is it clear enough call to action? Is it one call to action? Um, is it, do we send it enough? Look at the different components so you can tweak it and then retry it and then you can test within your analytics and measure what the response is again. Now real quick for my e-commerce sites, if you do sell online, you can set up goals within Google Analytics and you can, you can measure when people actually buy from your site. I strongly suggest that you add this, it's an extra step. So under, um, on the left hand side in navigation, click on e-commerce, you can then click on learn more and that's going to take you through the process of getting the e-commerce tracking code on your website. You want to be able to track where people, not only where people are coming from, but how much they're spending. And so you can set up different funnels and different goals. You could say we did this campaign that pushed them to this page with the goal being that they hit this page, which is our checkout, you know, thank you for buying page and then go in and see how well those converted and really uh, take a look at that data so you can better understand if the campaign was successful or not and what things you need to change to make sure it's more successful in the future. Once again, Social Edge members, I have a video just for you where I've logged into Crystal Media Web Analytics and I showed you everything that I just talked about, the pieces that are important for me and how exactly I use it. So be sure to check that out. It's kind of like a Google Analytics tour just for you. If you found this video helpful, please share it to your retailer friends. Please leave a comment below. And if you have a question, whether you're a Social Edge member or not, feel free to ask them on my Facebook page or email info at crystalmedia.co and I'd be more than happy to answer them on one of my episodes of Crystal Media TV. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to Crystal Media TV and Indie Retour... Oh. Ha <laughs> ha.